Hi there and welcome to my floss tube. I think this is number six. I should have checked that before. I'm pretty sure it's floss tube number six. My name is Julie and I'm more commonly known as Peachy Stitcher and I'm from West Yorkshire in the UK. Uh, if you're new to my channel, then thank you for joining and you are very, very welcome. If you are one of my lovely returning viewers, then hello again. It's been a few weeks since I uploaded a video. I find it quite tricky to, I don't often um, wear makeup. I work from home and, um, but today we've been out this morning for breakfast and things and I've made a bit of an effort. So I thought, right. I'm going to film a floss tube this afternoon when I when I feel sort of half decent. So here I am, um, full transparency here. I have got my pajama bottoms on. It's all about comfort. Um, so yeah, welcome back if you are one of my lovely followers. And on that note, since I was last on YouTube, I have hit one thousand subscribers. So do carry on watching because. I do have a little gift that I will be sending out to someone and I'm going to do that part way through the video. So I've got that somewhere. I've put it somewhere, she said. Yes, I've got it. Yeah. Um, honestly, it felt like I had to get so much organisation done before this. I don't know if anybody else feels like that. But yeah, so I have um, been stitching every day. I think I may have missed one day in August. We went away for the weekend. We went away for three nights to Northumberland in August and it was just perfect. A um, little bit of a backstory. We're not allowed to, well, I am, but my husband isn't allowed to go on holiday abroad yet because he had a kidney transplant in April and um, he received my kidney. And um, he's not really allowed to travel abroad yet for a few different reasons so we had a lovely long weekend in Northumberland for his birthday in August with the dog lovely beaches lovely time lovely place that we stayed um and it had a lovely outdoor space and the weather was gorgeous so we we spent most of the time having late mornings sitting out having a coffee and of course I did some stitching and it was perfect and I actually finished one of my whips whilst we were there which I'll be sharing with you so that was all that was really good and yeah that was a fabulous time and now we're back and it feels like autumn is really well and truly on its way although I do think that there are a few nice days of weather forecast where we are uh, for the next few days this week this coming week so that will be good on a personal note I am still i'm really busy with my paper crafting business at the moment if you don't know about that i run i'm a stamping up demonstrator and which is all the lovely wonderful craft supplies cardstock and matching inks above me um behind me even um and I sell these wonderful products and I do a lot of online classes. And I'm so busy with that at the minute because Christmas is a busy time for crafts, Christmas crafts. And I'm also really working hard because this is the last month for, um, I say me, but I'd like to say us for my husband because he will be coming with me if I do earn it. It's the last month for me to earn or us to earn a free trip to Disney next in Orlando next May which would coincide with our third wedding anniversary so I'm really trying hard to get that through my sales and through my team building so yeah it's all systems go with that and my customers have been absolutely wonderful I'm also trying to raise funds for Kidney Care UK who have been amazing with us and I have had lots of invaluable support from them through in the form of counselling, free counselling, because as I'm sure you can imagine, it's not just a physical process donating an organ from your body, it's quite a mental process and it's to process it mentally is quite taxing and trying at times. Um, so they've been wonderful. I had some counselling before the operation and I've just picked it up again um, a couple of times after and they've been wonderful so 
I've been raising funds, we've been raising funds for kidney care and I'm selling our Stamping Up craft kits and I'm calling it Kits Out for Kidneys. I will put a link on the description actually in case anybody's interested. The kits do make wonderful gifts, even if you're not massively into paper crafts, they are a wonderful gift. So yeah, I will pop that link in, but obviously you've not come here for me to talk about paper crafts. Um, You've come here, hopefully, to see what I'm up to and to talk, well, to listen about cross-stitch. So it's really exciting. I don't actually know where to start. Being quite new to the whole cross-stitch and floss tube, I don't know what the right thing is to do. And I'm always a bit worried about if I do it wrong. But then I thought, well, I'll just do it duly way. Um, so I think I'll actually start with my finishes and... Um, the first one was, was a stitch along so i'll start with that and it's off my board it's off my frame now it does need a wash and it does need an iron but i'm really pleased with it and this is the this is one where i didn't think it was very dirty um and then when i took it off the frame i thought oh it is rather so i've got my little board here i'll probably try and put a picture in of where it was last time I chatted with you but it's the Caterpillar Cross Stitch North American Stitch Along and there we have it and I love doing this I know that Caterpillar Cross Stitch might not be uh, every cross stitcher's cup of tea um, I a bit of a backstory I used to cross stitch about 27 years ago and I got back into it at Christmas uh, January really and um, I bought this kit that was far too difficult for me, just coming back into it. Well, for, I will show you it in a moment. Um, so this has just been great for me to relearn my skills. And each little uh, motif I treat as a little sort of finish of its own. And I've loved stitching this. And I wanted to do this one because Craig and I actually got married in New York. And I love the needle minder, which was the New York taxi. And New York is represented on there. And um, yeah, I was a bit, I'm a bit weird, but I actually liked stitching this border with the sea and the land. There's a lot of it up there. So you can see, um, yeah, I love the little lobster and the porcupine. And then we have Niagara Falls there and um, the White House. There's that taxi. And I did like that little cactus, actually, doing that little cactus. So, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. It does need framing. I feel like it needs framing properly. And I would like to put that in our hallway or somewhere like that, or perhaps our kitchen diner. Craig loves it too, which is good. So it means that it can go in, in in a place that's communal for both of us. Um, so yeah, that was that one. And the other finish that I had in August was actually a new start and a finish all in the same, oh, I haven't told you my stats of my Caterpillar cross stitch. I started it on the 22nd of May, I think. I can't tell what that number is. And I finished it on the 17th of August. Um, so and it was released in parts so yeah i i kept up to date with that quite well actually um so my next one was a start and a finish all in the same month and i love love pop it designs and i am on claire's um patreon membership and this was one of, her, one of her free releases and i was actually invited one of my instagram friends Maxine um she's called Ninja Needles on Instagram I'm not even sure if if she has a floss tube I will check um but yeah she's Ninja Needles on Instagram and I've stitched this as a bit of a stitch along along with some other lovely ladies um on Instagram called Octopus Poppet Sal I think that's right I don't know all the names to to real I should have prepped that before but I started it and I finished it in August I started it on the 4th of August and I finished it on the 31st. So just in time at the end of the month. So quite a bit of peach cut thread in this one. So that was right on my street. And this is actually going to go in 
our bathroom, which really is sort of my bathroom because Craig never re rarely goes in there. It's got a bath in it and a sink and a toilet and Craig tends to have showers and I love a bath. So he doesn't really go in there. He's really in our ensuite and um, or the downstairs loo. So I'm going to have the bathroom all peach and green. And of course the octopus will, and because it's a sea creature, will look great in a bathroom. So if you've got any tips for if anybody's framed anything, I'm presuming you have to be really careful with like moisture. Has anybody had any success put, putting a uh, cross stitch in a bathroom? Um, there is a fan in there. And I only go in once a week. Sometimes I do have showers, <laughs> but um, I tend to go in once a week for um, a bath, Sunday night bath. I <laughs> um, don't know if anyone else likes that, but that's my Sunday night thing. I like to have a bath and then watch a good TV series. New jammers. Well, I don't, don't full disclosure, I don't just have the new jammers once a week. But anyway, um, I started that and it's not available anymore. Um, but yeah, so I've really enjoyed doing that. Um, so yeah, that's Love Poppet and I will tag Claire in. So that's it for my finishes. I did have another sort of finish, which was a cotton and twine monthly box and it was the Be Creative one. And I finished it, but didn't finish it because I didn't want to stitch any more bees. I was getting to a point where I was getting a little bit fed up with it. I'm not going to show it here. So I've stitched everything except the little bees in the round the edges. But now it looks a bit bare. So some of the girls on a chat that I'm on just said, Julie, just, just leave it, put it to one side and then just see how you feel and stitch the bees another time. So I'm not claiming that as a finish um, and I'm not sharing it. So, yeah. So, um... Let's go on to whips. Now I am, because I don't want, I have six whips at the moment, which I know for some people isn't a lot at all. I think that I'm, I think the highest I got up to was eight. Um, so I'm on six at the minute and that's not including that B one though. I've taken that off. What, what do people say? I've put it into timeout. I, I sort of have put it into timeout a little bit. So... I've got my Winter Wonderland one, which is Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Stitch Along from the last Christmas, which I'm not going to share today because I haven't done any stitching on it. However, I am starting Whip Go this month, so I'll talk about that in my plans at the end. Um, I've also got a Shannon Christine Summer Vibes, and I've not done anything on that since the last video, so I thought there's no point sharing it with you because I haven't done anything on it. And I've also got Springtime Sun by Love Poppet. And again, no to Julie, I haven't done anything on that. This is what I'm finding out about myself. What I do is I'm not monogamous, but I'm not sti stitching on different ones all the time. So what I'll do is, and I call myself a spurty stitcher, so I'll do it in spurts. So I'll, I'll stitch on something for a week or a week and a half and not want to put it down but then the novelty wear off a little bit. So I pick something else up. So I, I tend to only flick between two in a month, maybe three max, but, but I'm doing the whip go. So I'm trying to change that. So my next one on my whips that I have got to share with you, which I do want to get finished this month. Um, that's on my target, which was kindly gifted to me. And it, it actually ended a while ago and I've not got a lot left to do is the the love poppet dreaming of summer stitch along and I've been naughty I should have finished this um the the fabric is absolutely wonderful it's so soft uh, to stitch with I've I've just found it such an easy stitch so I'm going to do some a couple of evenings on that this month and that's in my plans to finish this in September. I'm not doing the Halloween one. Um, I'm not much of a Halloween stitcher. Well, I've only just started stitching again for 27 years. So I'm not much of a anything stitcher, am I, in, in relation to a lot of people. But yeah, I've never stitched Halloween. I do have one. It's the cross, it's the cotton and twine box, which I might do. Um, 
So yeah, oh, excuse me. I'm yawning like crazy. So I've done that, I'll tick that off. Um, I might have shown that last time so you can see, compare what I've done. And then because I've been doing the whip go, I've got my oldest whip out, which Some people's oldest whips are like um, three or four years old. Mine's like from February this year. So, <laughs> yeah. And it's the New York by Letty Stitch. And this is what, <laughs> just laugh at this. This is what got me back into cross stitching. And well, I knew I was going to be having this operation to, to give Craig my kidney. And I knew I wouldn't be able to sit at my desk here and paper craft. I'm just going to have a little drink. So I thought, hmm, I need something. I need a little hobby. I need a little something that I can sit or semi-sit on the sofa. And I'm, I'm rubbish at just not doing anything. I, I need to keep occupied. So I thought I'll get back into cross-stitch. And because we got married in New York, I saw this New York kit. I'll put the picture up of the finished thing. And I thought, I'm going to do that. And Craig took one look at that and he said, you'll never do that. You will, Can you do that? So I used some money, the money that I got from his parents for Christmas, and I bought it. And it turned up. Well, I actually got it before and, wrapped, and Craig wrapped it up. So I opened it up on Christmas morning and I was dead excited. And I sat there. And I couldn't see the holes. I couldn't see it. And it's 16 count. And then I thought, well, my eyesight from 27 years ago is... And I hadn't even taken that into account. Um, so off we trotted to Hobbycraft once um, the bank holidays were over and I bought a magnifying light and then... I started it and then it looked rubbish and then I unpicked it or frogged it and then I started it again on the 17th of February. Now, you're going to laugh because this is what got me back into cross stitching and it's uh, full coverage. <laughs> what? 45, nearly 46,000 stitches. Too short of 46,000 stitches. So, yeah. Um, so, I will, I've put a picture up of what it it's going to look like and then it's actually I'm not going to take it off my nerge but this is what I've done so far part of the skyscraper and I haven't done any of it since May and then last night I picked up this bit of the billboard um, so I'm not impressed with my stitching my initial stitching or the this but I think it's getting better um, since. So, yeah, it's I'm almost at 10%. I'm at about 9.4%. So, yeah, I haven't done anything since the end of May, since I went to the last stitchy day um, and I picked it up last night. But this is one of my whip go um, numbers for this month. So, yeah, hopefully I will get 10 hours in on this. Last night I did three hours. So that was good. And I only did though 214 stitches in three hours. So it takes me a while because it's quite itty bitty. And I'm no good. I'm no good at doing this thing where you park stitches. I'm I'm no good. So what I'm trying to do now, which is to I'm totally gonna contradict this bit here, but I'm trying to stitch each sort of 10 by 10 grid. I'm trying to do each grid, but I don't leave the threads hanging. I can't. I can only do what I can do. And I'm happy. I'm happy doing. No, don't. I'm never going to show the back of this because the back of it is honestly, it's carnage. Um, yeah. So that's my biggest whip. That's going to be a whip for quite a while. Um, I'm on 10%. And right, I think I'll do a little thousand followers little giveaway shall we so as a thank you um for i can't believe i set this channel up in i think it was march and i got a thousand followers subscribers sorry in august so i've got 
a little giveaway, but please don't write anything um, like giveaway in the comments because I don't want to give away that there's a giveaway and get some bots on. Um, but yeah, I will pick a name. I'll do one of those things when I do my next floss tube. I'll probably do a floss tube extra. And so I am going to be giving, and this is one of my favourite designers, and it's just the kit. It's not the full sub box, but I'm going to be gifting this Balloon Fiesta kit here by Love Poppet. Just full transparency. I have opened it because you have to, don't you, when you get things in the post. It's an unwritten rule, but I haven't, like, touched it. Um, so the threads are lovely colours. You can see there. Really nice colours. There's the pattern, but not the pattern, if that makes sense. And there's a the fabric. I don't think I have the needle. I'm sure there was one on the little card, but I'm sure everybody's got me. So I chose that because it's quite nice and flat to send. And I will send it um, outside the UK because it won't be too heavy for me to send. So, yeah, I will pick a winner um, next time. But I just love you to, um, to watch and let me know which of my whips or my finishes do you like the best on today's video just let me know because i'd love to i know what i like but everyone likes different don't we because it wouldn't do us good to be all the same so i've done that i've done my giveaway i've done my new oh no i haven't done all my new i've done my finishes and i've done my sort of done all my whips so because i finished the north america sal and the octopus and sort of the Be Creative, which I pushed away. Um, I was itching to start another one. And I asked on Instagram if anybody wanted to do it as a sal. And it's from the Cross Stitcher magazine from not the one that's just come out. It's from last month. And I think it might be on the cover. And it's called Spread the Love. Now, I love it because it's it's a real kitchen stitch a real kitchen design um and i love um our kitchen diner i'm into shabby chic and i've got an old um dresser that's been painted with chalk paint in like an aqua blue and i've got an old um farmhouse pine dining table the same and some chairs and i love that vibe and a coffee table um so and when i saw it with the frame it's exact same color as our dresser and I knew I wanted to stitch it. And another reason why is I mentioned, I think, that I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but I'm in the middle of rehearsing for a production of Sister Act. Um, so I will be playing Sister Mary Lazarus in the film. She's the older nun who's a little bit crotchety and sarcastic and doesn't really like Dolores when she um, joins the convent. And she's the actual choir mistress initially and then and they're not very good and then Dolores takes over. So she takes the hump a little bit. Um, but in the musical, she's a fantastic character. Um, Leslie Joseph played her, who was in Birds of a Feather and she was brilliant as her. And she's got some amazing one-liners, sarcastic, like um, really dry humour. So I'm really enjoying it. I was actually in Sister Act six years ago, but I played Sister Mary Patrick, who is the bubbly, bright, um, fun one. And I do feel I'm more of a Sister Mary Patrick. However, we've been at rehearsals and um, we've done this, we've learned the songs. It did help that I knew the lyrics from six years ago. And we've started doing the movements and the acting and things. And this kind lady, I've never appeared with this theatre company before. It's new to me. And I know a couple of people in it, but not lots. She turned to me and said, Julie, you were born to play this part. So I don't know if that's because I'm crotchety and old. But yeah, I hopefully because I'm doing a good job. Anyway, I'm going on and on. But the final song in the show is called Spread the Love Around. So... We've not got to the point where we're sat around a lot at rehearsals not doing anything. That will That's when we start doing full run-throughs, which won't probably happen for another four weeks. 
But I thought I need a stitch to take to rehearsal for when I'm sat around not doing anything. So I'll take Spread the Love because we're singing Spread the Love. So I put a picture of it up now, hopefully, in here. And I will show you what I've done. And I should have written down when I started it. But I started it this month. So I've just started it in September. And I have had to prize this out of my hand yesterday. Um, and force myself to start on the New York. Because I've done two weeks of it really. Solid. Um, almost. Yeah, I think. Without anything else. So, yeah. But I think it's worth it. And I am stitching this as a sal on Instagram with some friends. So if you do want to join in, please, I'm not going to take it off the frame because there's nothing hiding under the frame. If you do want to join in, please find me Peachy Stitcher on Instagram and message me and I will add you to the sal group. Um, so I have been doing the back stitch as I've gone along and, and stitched each jar. And of course, I had to start with the peach preserve that you can see at the bottom there. And then I've done the honey. I'm absolutely loving it. I honestly, it's Emma Congdon, and I think she's my I think she's my tribe. I'm stitching it and I'm thinking this is my vibe. Emma and Shannon Christine are my vibes. So yeah. So there we go. Look at that peachy preserve. I just love it. I love, love, love it. So, yeah. I probably can just show you it without that board. Absolutely, I'm loving it. But I have put it aside for a couple of days whilst I... So it, it came as a... It came on the magazine, which I get digitally through the uh, Readly app or Readly, however you say it. Um... And then I ordered the threads, so I've not spent much the last month or so. I'm trying not to because I'm self-employed. Um, so, um, but I did buy the threads for it. I already had some fabric from Zoe's Cross Stitch Crafts, I think. Which I've shown on another video. But yeah, I absolutely love that. Love, love, love it. And I can't, I really can't get enough of it. So that's it for my whips. I have just got six whips now, but I've only shown three of them today because the others haven't had any stitching on them. Right, oh, nearly half an hour. I didn't want to be too much more than half an hour. So now it just comes to me talking about um, Spence that I've spent and then plans and then shout outs so spends right well my lovely stitchy friend Anne, who is also one of my lovely paper craft customers sent me this fabulous country cottage needleworks Anne's a very talented cross stitcher and we stitched together at the stitchy days uh, in Brig House but haven't been since the end of May because I've been trying to go watch my sons play cricket but their final cricket game of the season was yesterday so I shall be going in two weeks but Anne sent me this little pattern can you see there and it's called lovely home and it says love makes a house a home and it's gorgeous I love anything with a house on it. This is in my paper crafting world as well. I love anything with a house. And she actually sent me, and I've never used any before, Classic Colour Works in Jolly Holly and Really Tealy. And now this house is stitched, and the words are stitched in like a pink. There's only four colours used. And then there's two browns, DMCs, I think, and a white. So... The, the one of the greens is called for this but instead of the pink i'm going to stitch it in the teal because it'll fit more in with our home scheme and then i've ordered the brown and the white dmc so that will be a new start soon but there is a book i don't know if you noticed anything from my stitching but everything i've stitched so far is on ada or I, is it ada 
there was a debate on a Facebook group I was on that said the other day, how do you say Ada? And the people saying Aida and things like that. But I just say Ada. But yeah. So I have ordered. With the encouragement of the ladies in the octopus sal, I've, I've ordered some 25 count even weave in mocha. So it's quite a big piece. I think it's in mocha. And I think it says Vigar. I got it from Lakeside Needle Crafts. And um, there we go. I'm thinking I might give this one a go with it. I think it'll look nice because it's got that vintage look to it. So that could be my first experience of even weave. I don't think I like the look of linen. It just looks too uneven for me personally so I think even weave could be a good compromise so I also got myself a little nudge um hoop I think this is the size two so I've got I've now got one size two two size threes and a size four and I thought this would be a lovely size for popping um that on and having a go with that so that is going to be my next start any tips for even weave thanks to the girls in the love pop it um stitch along group for encouraging me as well to buy the even weave um i've seen some things they've done and, and they've done some nice things with it um so we'll see how it goes and it's only a smallish design and finally oh she's yawning again i've had my eye on this kit and you're gonna laugh because I'm thinking you haven't even done you haven't even done ten percent of your other New York Letty Stitch one yet. But I've seen my eye, I've had my eye on this kit for months, and it's normally around forty pounds, but on Cotton Club Crafts it's about twenty five pounds, and it's never in stock. So I signed up for the email saying let me know when it's back in, and then I got I got on and it had gone again. Anyway. I got on again and it was still in. So I got it because I'm just going to, I wanted it. It reminds me of our wedding in New York, our visit to New York at Christmas as well. And it also reminds me of Home Alone too. And it's the Winter Townhouse by Letty Stitch. And I've wanted this for ages. And this will be going in our lounge. Our lounge is navy blue with sort of accents of mustard. So that will look great. And look, I love it. I love it. Look at that. Is there a better sight than that? I love that. Look at that. So yeah, I won't be starting this yet. But I've, I've got it. So I've got it in. And yeah, had it here. Um, whilst it was in stock, I've got it. I don't know how many stitches it is. It doesn't say on here. But yeah. How fab. The only thing I'm not a fan of with these is they use anchor threads. And I much prefer DMC threads. You know, hark at me like I've been cross-stitching for years. But yeah, I much prefer DMC threads. So I won't be starting that. So plan But plans for this month are... On my whip go, it's numbers 4 and 11 this month, which is the New York one I shared, plus the Winter Wonderland um, Christmas one. So I need to pull that out and stitch on that, 10 hours on that this month. Um, and we're nearly halfway, aren't we? We are halfway through the month, so better hurry up. Um, so that's my plans. And I'd love to finish the Love Pop It. And then just enjoy what I'm doing because I'm loving it. I'm loving being part of the cross-stitching community. Um, I can't believe it, really. I've got 1,250 followers on Instagram in nine months and over a 1,000 on YouTube, and I'm just so grateful. It's I didn't get that many that quick on my card making, and that's my business. So... I want to give a shout out to some lovely folks who are very supportive and I love watching their um, floss tubes 
And the first one is a lady called Stitchy Sally, who gave me a shout out a, a few weeks ago and I was close to a thousand. So she was giving shout outs to people who weren't at a thousand and she gave me a shout out and here I am at over a thousand now. So thank you, Sally. Also, Kat, at Katkin and Lily, I love watching your videos. Um, I've not watched your most recent one with your mum uh, and the Emma Congdon one you're doing. But yeah, I love watching Kat's videos. And a lovely girl called Hannah, I've tagged. I see Hannah at the Stitchy Days, but last time I thought it was Hannah, but I didn't dare say anything. So Hannah, if you're there in two weeks time, let's let's have a proper chat. Um, I should be there on the 28th. And also Soph Soph, love watching your videos and also seeing your doggo and the outfits that you make for your doggy. And finally, my cross stitch original friend, Leah from Leah's Cross Stitch Corner. Um, Leah and a, and a chap, Graham, are both cross-stitching. In fact, Graham's had a finish recently. He's going great guns with his stitching. Um, and I think Leah's got concentrating on fewer whips now. So he's making great progress there too. So I love catching up with Leah. Um, <coughs> oh, <it's not coughs> I mean, sneezes, yawns, everything. And it started raining then outside, so perfect cross stitch weather so i think that's all from me i've done nearly 40 minutes if you do have any questions and please drop me a message leave a comment and um i will do my draw in a couple of weeks for the giveaway thank you for being part of a lovely community and happy cross stitching and i will see you soon Bye bye